So at any rate, let's, let's move along and talk about some of the things you really ought to know about climate in order to judge whether or not what you're hearing is true. We started out with global warming, and that didn't work very well because warming stopped. So then it was changed to climate change. Well, the climate change is back and forth. Well, we know that. But that didn't catch on very well. So then it, the, the cry became climate uh, disruption. That is weird, extreme storms and things that go on that were supposed to be caused by global warming. And that now has uh, evolved to become extreme weather. Every time there's a weather event, you'll hear it's being caused by global warming. And one of the, one of the best I've heard was made by um, Dr. Holden, Holdren, who is the climate science advisor uh, to the president. And what he said was, after the, you, North America has the coldest winter that it's had in 102 years, and the third coldest ever. And what Dr. Holden says was, the hotter it gets, the colder it's gonna be. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> the blacker it gets, the whiter it's gonna be. If you can wrap yourself around that one, you'll understand what's going on. There are also uh, some new things coming out about ocean acidification, and I'm probably not gonna have time to get into that tonight, but there's a whole, uh, there's a whole story there too. So what is the news media not telling you? Here is a list. And I'm not going to read them all, but I just want to comment on a few of them. Um, global warming is real. It's been going on for thousands, millions of years, and I knew about that. People call me a, a global warming denier, which is not true. It's just the opposite. Climate has always been changing. It's been warming and cooling and warming and cooling way more intensely than recently. And so no skeptics that I know deny climate change. It's the natural thing. The other thing you may not be aware of, because you will not hear this in the news media, there's been no global warming in 17 and a half years. I bet you hadn't heard that. If you have teenage kids or grandkids, they have never experienced global warming, because we haven't had any in almost 18 years. And I'll show you the, the data for that. Something else you probably don't know is that carbon dioxide cannot, by itself, cause significant global warming. It's physically impossible. And I will show you why a bit later. And uh, the why is in the next couple of so we're, we'll, we'll come back to those um, in a little bit. But be aware also that there is no correlation at all between carbon dioxide and climatic warming. No correlation at all. And I'll show you those too. Something else you probably weren't aware of is that 8,500 of the past 10,000 years have been much warmer than present one to two degrees warmer than present. You won't hear that in the news either. In other words, we're living in a cold time, not in a warm time. Almost all of the last 10,000 years have been warmer than present, and the Earth survived it. There have been lots of periods of global warming and cooling in the past 500 years. I'll show you some of these. And here's one that you hear over and over and over. As a matter of fact, on Sunday, Ann Curry of NBC is going to be doing a special in which she claims that, as, as do many of the uh, CO2 people, that 97% of scientists believe global warming is caused by human CO2 emissions. I'm sure you've heard that. You hear, I hear it almost every day from somebody. It's not true, and I'll show you where that number comes from and what it means. The other thing you won't hear is that Antarctic ice sheet is growing. It's not melting. And I'll show you why. I have heard a thousand times, if I heard it once, the Antarctic ice sheet is melting at an accelerating rate. That's not true, and I'll show you why. Arctic sea ice has increased the past year, and the Arctic has been cooling since 2005. And you, you'll hear about the accelerated global war or, uh, warming in the, in the Arctic, even though there aren't any thermometers up there, or very few. Uh, sea level is rising at a rate of about seven inches a year. Um, in one generation, if any of you are, are 50 years old, um, then you will have experienced in your lifetime about three and a half inches of sea level rise. Did you notice it? I didn't. So in the next 50 years, between now and the end of this century, we'll get another three and a half to four inches. And do you think it's going to be a problem? It wasn't a problem for the first 50 years. 
Well, let's, let's take a look at where there's 97% of all scientists uh, agree global warming is caused by CO2. Where does that come from? It comes from a master's thesis, I think in, in Indiana, where a graduate student sent out 10,000 questionnaires and asked the question, do you think that global warming is being caused by CO2 and it's going to cause catastrophe? He got 3,146 responses. Of those, he handpicked, or they handpicked, there are two of them, these are the authors down here, picked 77 out of that 3,100 and asked them, do you think global warming is caused by CO2? And 75 out of those 77 said, yes, we do. And guess what came out of that? That's where the 75 percent, or I mean the 97 percent comes from. That's what that number is based on. Well, it's really 75 out of 3,146, isn't it? Which is 2%. So whenever you hear there is a consensus of 90%, 97% of all scientists agree that CO2 is the cause of global warming, change that to 2%. That's all you can prove it. It doesn't mean that that's all there are. It means that that's all that was proven by this study. You will hear over and over again, the science is settled, so don't talk about it. That's not the way science works. And so since the 97% story was getting out and people were laughing at the 97% at the number, there was, a, there was a survey made of 11,944 uh, published papers about um, climate change. And the claim was made that 99.5% of them said that global warming is caused by CO2. Well, somebody else said, okay, we're gonna replicate that count and they found that there were only 64 out of 11,900 papers that actually said global warming was man-made, which is 0.5%. So when you hear 99.5% of scientists believe CO2 causes global warming, change that to 0.5. That's not the number that actually believe that. That's not the claim here. I'm just showing you where the numbers come from and you cannot believe the numbers. Here are some real numbers. There's a survey of 5,000 scientists um, from, a, from Scotland who were asked um, about CO2 and catastrophic warming. And 98% believed that increase in CO2 would not cause cat catastrophic global warming. 98% said CO2 was not the cause of global warming from 5,000 scientists. Even more, there are 31,487 scientists, 9,000 PhDs, who say, to say that CO2 is not causing global warming. And this is the statement that each of them signed. They had to have a degree in one of the sciences in order to sign this um, statement. And essentially uh, what they said was that there's no scientific evidence that CO2 is a cause of global warming. So if as claimed there are 97% of all scientists agree, that doesn't include this 32,000. If you did include those, it would take a million people who said it was causing in order to have a consensus, that consensus. 